What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Jake aka Star Coding coming at you with yet another video where we're talking about computer science. Guys, just got done with a fun little side project where we made a Instagram bot that would just publish a random quote each day. If you're a subscriber to the channel, you might have noticed that we made a, a quick video in the past talking about image processing in Python, where essentially we would take an image uh, and render some text on it. There will be a link on one side of the video to that. Needless to say, though, we're taking it up a notch and now publishing that photo onto Instagram. And so I wanted to just walk you through how that process works in code. And, you know, this is an open source project, so we're also going to go through how to do it yourself in case you want to fork, in case you want to just, you know, do this, do this yourself. So, without further ado, let's hop into it. So, where are we going to begin, guys? Well, if you know me as a person, you will know that I am a huge stickler for documentation and that does not change for personal projects that are going to be public internet facing um, the goal is you know to have a readme with any project that I do so that way someone can come in with little to no experience and start messing around understand what each file is doing and have some nice instructions to run the code I'll probably add some more documentation before y'all see this video um, and if you don't well there's documentation modification on the way down the pipeline so let's jump into what is actually happening in the code but it's always good to start with the main file and as you can see here it's pretty simple all we're going to do is get a random author uh, get a image and write a quote to the image make it a caption it's a static caption and then create this image or this instagram publisher class and publish to the Instagram API. Simple as that. Nothing much to it, guys. As previously alluded to, you know, we talked about the whole image processing section, so we're not going to go into detail of how that's done technically. But for people that are new and just want to know how the project works, the images are static. So the random quotes that are generated are from people that I personally have chosen to generate quotes for. And so in that process, what we do is we define a list of authors as alongside their JPEG image. The reason for this is because the images had to be in a certain uh, aspect ratio. I believe it's 430 aspect ratio. Uh, generally, that is going to be 10,000 or 1,080 by 1,350, I want to say, is the dimensions that Instagram wants. And so finding the images dynamically was a challenge. Uh, and that challenge just said, you know what? I have a Photoshop subscription. Let me just make a canvas with those exact dimensions. You know, throw some photos in there and we can get some, uh, get some standardized photos. So that way, each time, you know, we make a post to Instagram, the image is going to be in an expected format that you know the user wants to see so that is cool and are y'all ready for this grand surprise of what goes on in the Instagram publisher file because I know that's why everyone's here correct yeah BAM 12 lines of code ladies and gentlemen it's all it is <laughs> um, yes yes 12 lines of custom code to get this thing to work. You'll notice that the only customization that you really need to do is create a username and password and not have two-factor authentication on your account. Yes, a little a little sus, one would say, um, but for the purposes of a you know automatic posting bot, it's not my worries, it's not my account that I love dear and near because having two not having to off, not having two-factor authentication is basically inviting people to come hijack your account. So um, that is the one security flaw. There is a way to log in with two-factor authentication, but we are using a third-party software solution. Which, if we open up, 
the nice Python documentation, we'll see that there is a Instagram bot package that you can install via pip. And if we go to the GitHub of this page, we'll see that it's by some person named Daniel Okekhoff. Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I tried my best. Okay, y'all see that name. Okay, I, I tell me you could do better. All right. Needless to say, this guy was God. This guy was God. He's done some great things on GitHub, but he made this Instagram bot uh, open source project himself, which is pretty much a Python wrapper for interacting with the Instagram API. As you can see, the last time it was modified was pretty much two years ago. Um, and what I noticed was that some things simply don't work. The main functionality is still there. Uh, bits and pieces of it do not work, however. So with that being said, you know, there's just some things that are a little sus. But if you go to the GitHub page, you can see some great examples where, you know, where he does some auto posting, deleting posts, you know, you can uh, send follow requests, you can basically like follow everyone from a specific user, which, you know, explains a lot. Okay, I don't know if y'all have experience with Instagram bots. But they seem to always love to follow you after you follow some popular person. Needless to say, um, there's some great things on this. This is, you know, third-party API solution. I am not going to take credit for just having this elaborate Instagram posting bot. Because for me, it was just 12 lines of code. So, <laughs> thank you so much. Do be careful, though. Um, you know, there are Instagram... Uh, Instagram themselves have tools to find out if an account is a bot. You know, they have some machine learning algorithms out there. So whatever you are doing, make sure to not do it too frequently or else you will get banned. Make sure to do it in a sporadic way. For me, it's once a day. So even if it was a bot, even if Instagram knew it was a bot because I'm posting at the exact same time each day, they'd probably be like, eh, it's one post. Don't need to worry about it. So from your end, as a user, what does it take to use this code and publish something to Instagram? Well, all it really takes is for you to go into this config.py file and enter your username and password for that account. Supply these two variables. And when we go to main, we can now try it out. Let's see what happens. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a run. We can do a little ls in the terminal to make sure we're in the right directory. And all we have to do is type in this python3 main.py and it should, you know, randomly get a quote. Here we have a quote from Henry Ford. Money is like an arm or leg. Use it or lose it. What a guy. Oh man, what a guy. That's how we quote from him. And what the program is going to do in the back end I believe what that third-party API Instagram bot is doing is sending a bulk request to that publish um, method here because you can publish images at certain aspect ratios and it's probably trying to publish at all these different aspect ratios and it finally finds one that our image is using aka that 1080 times 1350 so it finds it, it publishes it, it tells us it's been uploaded. That's great. If we now open up Instagram, and if we go over here, do a little refresh, you'll see that 22 seconds ago, we have now a new post. Money is like an arm or a leg. Use it or lose it. And guys, give it a follow. Official star coding. You made it this far in the video. Why not keep up to date with the bot? Who knows what author is going to be added in the future? So after the image post, we actually have to do a couple more things manually before we can post again. One thing that this third-party library wants to do is save your user data in the form of a cookie, so that way it doesn't have to do a user flow login sequence again. And that is all going to be saved in this config file, in this config folder. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to delete it before we go to post our next photo. And we're also, I mean, like, you probably don't need to 
remove this necessarily. I think it'll be okay if you don't remove it, but I always just remove it before posting another image. That being said, there is definitely room for, for this software system for this application to improve on. You know, this stuff could also be automated with the removing of files and folders. But for the time being, for the purposes of this video, it is a solution that works <laughs> and can post things um, to the Instagram API, which I find very cool. And I hope you did too. And let me bring it back to my beautiful face here. So guys, as always, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Catch you in the next video. Peace.